Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. I'm actually filming this the video the same day it's going to go out. So, well, saying that, I hope it goes out today. I hope I get time to edit it and it goes out quickly. Um, if you haven't been here before, my name's Ali and I'm a mum of three and I'm pregnant with our fourth baby and we live by the sea in Wales. I write a parenting and lifestyle blog called We Made This Life and I share parenting and lifestyle videos on this channel too. So today I'm going to share with you our big cleaning haul. Now if you're on Instagram or I don't know, unless you've been living under a rock basically, you'll have come across Mrs Hinch. And if you haven't, I'm going to link her Instagram account down below. She is a Instagram phenomenon at the moment. She's got a cleaning account as they call it. And she's not a blogger or professional influencer or anything like that. She's just started off sharing like videos of her cleaning her home and pictures of her home. And her stories are brilliant. She's hilarious and she's really inspiring as well. And I've always been quite a clean person. Like we, I clean our house a lot. I have a cleaner actually as well once a week. Um, we do have a big house, um, but that's just sort of helped me keep on top of it when I'm working. But yeah, I also clean a lot on top of that. And she has completely inspired me and I've been cleaning things that I haven't cleaned for ages. I've sorted out kitchen cupboards. I've started cleaning the sink. Um, I've cleaned the kettle. I've never cleaned the kettle in my life. Um, like sort of descaled it. I've done all sorts, so she's got loads of great tips of what all the products she uses and how she cleans things on her channel and it's really really um yeah it's just it's fun to watch and afterwards you kind of want to go off and clean something so you feel like you've been a bit productive too. So anyway um she has got her favourite products that she uses and I've been buying them where I've seen them in the shops over the last couple of weeks. So they, they're all quite like uh, cheapish products to buy, like you can find them in pound stores, B&M Bargains, Wilkinson's, all places like that. Um, so I'm going to share with you my Hinch haul, um, all the cleaning bits I've bought this week basically. So the first thing I bought is Method Spray. I was already using this. Um, I'm not sure she actually uses Method Spray. I'll have to double check. But I, I love Method Spray anyway. It's like a multi-service cleaner and I've got it in all different scents and um, for the bathroom and for the kitchen and stuff and this one was in Tesco I think it was reduced down to two pounds um which for a big bottle it's nearly like a litre it's really good value and they all smell amazing and they're completely natural um so this is the pink grapefruit multi-surface cleanser so I picked that up also in Tesco they had these on offer these are the Ambipure Revolution plugins. Um, again, I'm not sure if Mrs. Hinch uses these. She, I think she uses wax melts, but um, her account is all about things smelling nice. So um, I always use these, and I tend to buy them when they're in the sale. Um, that's just a nice smelling one, so I picked that up. I also bought these, which I haven't bought before. Um, I've been using these for this week. These are the Lenore Unstoppables. They're like an in-wash scent booster. Now this is because when we went camping in France, I took um, some bold gel tablet type things, um, which I don't normally use, just because they were easy to take away with us so we could do the washing when we were away, and they made our sm washing smell amazing. So since we've been back, I've sort of been lusting after a nice washing smell. So until I can go to Costco and see if they've got like the bold stuff, I bought these, and you just put them in the wash, you put them in the drum before you put the washing in just put a few in and they are making my washing smell amazing um so i really like those also in tesco today i bought washing up gloves um not just for washing up obviously we've got a dishwasher actually but um for cleaning really important to protect your hands also now autumn is upon us i've been burning the wax melts again again mrs hinch does this um she uses different ones though but, um, so whenever I go to the supermarket, I tend to have a look at all the different wax melts. And in Tesco today, I bought these. This is spiced berries. Spiced berries and apples. This one is fig and mulberry. And this one is sea, sea salt and sandalwood. That one's not as strong as the others. They all smell amazing. I can't wait to burn those. One of the other things that Mrs. Hinch is famous for is her use of Zoflora. 
she likes everything to smell nice. So I've been buying Zoflora wherever I go. Um, this is the one that she really recommends and I haven't um, found it before. It's the Mountain Air fragrance and it's the pet friendly one. So it's um, like you can use it in pet areas and things like that. Um, I've got a video about how you use Zoflora. Um, I'll try and link it here. But yeah, I've been stocking up on the different scents. So this is Mountain Air. This is like one of their winter ones, limited edition cranberry and orange. I thought that would be nice. Also got honeysuckle and jasmine, which I've been, I cleaned the washing machine with the other day. And this one, this one I'm not too sure on. It's called Apple Orchard and it doesn't smell like I thought it would. But it's really nice for like mopping the floors and things like that. It does still have a nice smell. So yeah, I'm basically a bit of a Sifflora addict now. Another thing that Mrs. Hinch uses to make her house smell nice is this Carpet Fresh. Um, 1001 eliminates, eliminates odours. I've got another one downstairs, the pet one. It's like a pink flower. I can't remember what the fragrance is. I picked this one up today. I thought this would be nice for like upstairs, fresh linen and white flowers. It's really easy to use. You literally just spray it on your carpets and you don't need to hoover it off or anything. It just sort of soaks in in a couple of minutes. And it does smell really, really nice. Um, so it's a really easy way to like, give your home like a quick boost of scent if you've got people coming over. Another couple of cleaning bits I bought on her recommendation. This Dr. Beckman carpet stain remover. It's just got this handy head thing here for cleaning. I've seen loads of other people use this and it's actually got a Witch Best Buy award as well. Um, we've got a few stains in our bedroom carpet, cats and vomit and stuff. Um, so I'm going to use this on it. I haven't tried it out yet, but I've seen other people use it on Instagram and it's bringing up stains really, really well. So when um, I'm having a cleaning day, I'm going to crack this out. And the other thing I got on her recommendation, which is this Viacal, is that how you say it? It's like a lime scale remover. And we're not in a hard, is it hard water area or soft air water area? The one that makes lime scale. We haven't got that. So we don't get that much of it, but we did have a little bit of build up on the kettle and around some of the taps. And this actually worked a real treat. So I'm gonna use it on the shower and the bathroom taps as well. Um, it's only like a pound and it's, um, this has got a Febreze scent as well. It comes in different scents. Right, next up for unclogging, not unclogging, but cleaning the sinks and make sure they don't get clogged. Um, she recommends white vinegar and soda crystals. She just pours them down her sink um, to send all the plug holes. And every now and again, our plug hole thing, our sink things do get blocked up. So I'm going to start doing this regularly, like every week or so when I'm cleaning the sink. Um, and I've used the vinegar already as well um, to clean the kettle. She, I, put, I did put it on my Insta stories, but you put a bit of vinegar in and a bit of warm water in the kettle and boil it up and it helps all the limestone go. And when she did it, her kettle was gleaming afterwards. Mine wasn't gleaming, but it did get it much cleaner. I also bought this giant tub of um, fabric stain remover. You put a scoop of this in every wash. It's really, really useful to have stain remover in the wash when, you're, when you've got kids, because honestly, they mess up their clothes, something rotten. Um, and I was using Vanish before, but I didn't really, it was really expensive and I didn't find it worked. So I've started using this and it has got a few stains out actually. It's only like, I think it was like four pound for this huge tub, so it's gonna last ages as well. Um, so that's, yeah, I've been trying that out. And the last thing I bought, <laughs> a bit hard to show you on camera, is this Vaida uh, spray mop. And, oh, it's got, in the top here, you put your cleaning solution. So Mrs. Hinch uses a bit of Zofloral with water and then she spray you spray it and mop and you put one of these on the end of the mop. So easy to use and it disinfects the floors if you're using Seflora. Just great if you've got pets and kids. Um, and then it makes the house smell amazing. So I've been using this. Um, I do, the cleaner does a proper clean with the mop every week. And if I was gonna do a proper clean, I would do it with a proper hot mop and everything. But just sort of it's in between cleans to freshen up and disinfect and make it smell nice. This is amazing. I think I got this on Amazon. I think um, it was about £20. They sell, they sell them in most shops, I think. 
then if you watch her stories, you'll know who this is. She calls it Minky. It's so cute, but you've got to sit in her voice, like, which I can't. Um, but yeah, it's actually, it's just a cleaning sponge. It's actually wet, I'm holding like this. Um, but it's actually a really good cleaning sponge. Um, they're all sold out everywhere apparently, and they're like selling for 30 quid on Amazon. That's the Mrs. Hinch effect. Um, but I did manage to get one. Um, but yeah, it is actually worthwhile picking up one of these if you see one. So as you can see, I've bought loads of cleaning stuff. Um, I think a combination of being addicted to Mrs. Hinch's stories and nesting and being pregnant and everything has made me like a little bit obsessed with cleaning. So also inspired by Mrs. Hinch, I've um, created these free printables that I'm going to put on my blog and you'll be able to download them for free and print them off at home. I haven't put them up yet, but they will be up next week, hopefully. Um, and one's just a weekly cleaning schedule and you can fill in the blanks of what you're going to clean that day. I find I'm much more organised if I can look at a list of things that I need to do. So at the beginning of the week I'll write this out and you can put as much or as little into each day as you want. Obviously you can fill it out yourself. But I've put in, for example on Monday, clean kitchen, hoover, mop, tidy the under sink cupboard, do the washing and do the ironing. So you can just put in what you like on there. And then the other thing I've made is a free printable monthly cleaning list. I made a blank one and a pre-filled one of these because obviously the things that you might want to clean every month are different to me. Um, but then every week when I plan my cleaning schedule, I put a few of these into, into it so I know that they're getting done and they're sort of scheduled in and then I tick them off. And then in theory, by the end of the month, these are all done. So I've put on things like cleaning skirting boards, cleaning the blinds, washing the blankets and the cushions, hoovering under the bed, things that I don't have time to or get around to doing every week but kind of need to be done every month. I've just put on that list. So um, yeah, uh, in, a, in a week or so, have a look at my blog and you'll be able to download these and print them off. And I, I've made them pretty they look good on the fridge so there we are i hope you liked watching what i've been buying to clean the house I, as i said i've been really nesting at the moment um i'm in the moment um i'm redoing the front room to give it a bit of an autumn feel because it was pink and gray for spring and summer i'm going to do it navy and gold and gray for autumn and winter so stay tuned because there's going to be a, a haul video and then a tour video probably of that if you're interested in house things and also the next job on my list as well is to decorate the baby's nursery. I haven't started on yet. I, I know what I want to do, but I haven't started buying and I haven't started painting or anything. So um, yeah, in the next couple of months that video is gonna come out as well. But yeah, in the meantime, all my usual content's coming out. If you like this video, do give me a thumbs up, stick around and watch some of my other videos. I'd love for you to leave me a comment, say hi, and basically have a good weekend. Bye.